November 1st deadline. It's your turn to surrender and report qualifying unclaimed financial assets. Unclaimed Financial Assets Authority. Receive. Safeguard. Reunite. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with KTN Prime. Let's continue informing you about the latest news making headlines. Right now, we shift focus to Mombasa, where Their Majesties King Charles III and Queen Camilla today started their two days visit of Mombasa with various activities among them, witnessing the Kenya Marines trained by the Royal Marines, demonstrating a covert beach landing at the Mtongwe Naval Base. President William Ruto, together with First Lady Rachel Ruto, welcomed the royals in Mombasa County as witnessed by our reporter, Tobis Chaji. A few minutes after noon, King Charles III wearing his Royal Marines tie as Captain General and Queen Camilla wearing Anna Valentine pink chiffon tunic and white palazzo trousers made their way to the Mtongwe Naval Base where they were received by President William Ruto together with First Lady Rachel Ruto and other dignitaries who included military commanders. After a ceremonial welcome, His Majesty proceeded to the dais ahead of the British and Kenyan national anthems played by a military band. He was then invited to inspect the Guard of Honor before a march past took place. Thereafter, the king and the queen proceeded to the beachhead where they witnessed the Kenya Marines demonstrate a covert beach landing, having been trained by the Royal Marines. They also met Kenyan Navy families before speaking to the Royal Marines and Kenya Marines training teams. After another round of the national anthems, the royals and their hosts walked to the jetty and bid farewell as they departed for conservation activities at Nyali Beach and Kuruwitu in Kilifi. Well, this marks the end of day one visit of King Charles and Queen Camilla at the Mtongwe Naval Base and wait for Friday we'll be making entry into other places within Mombasa County. Tobias Chanji, KTN News, Mombasa County. Now, the royal family's footprints remain scattered across the country, even in unlikely places. As King Charles III and his wife,